says, according to the word of God, your loss only gives an opening for God to provide something new and great in your life. Amen. Abraham lost. Lot's gone. But God provided for Abraham. Joseph, he lost his brothers and sisters, Sister Tina. He lost mom and dad. But it provided a new door of opportunity for God to allow the dream to come true. Job, he lost everything. You look at his life, his friends point their fingers. But loss was not that God was out to get Job, but it was an opportunity for God to provide something new for Job. Maybe God won't provide ten times more. Amen. I'm not saying He will, but I promise you God will provide something for you and your loss that you never had before. Amen. So trust God with the covenant. Don't give up on God and throw your hands up in the air. Amen. God keeps His covenant with us. So if you will keep your covenant with Him, even through what feels like your loss, I promise you God will not allow you amen to have injury. God will not suffer you to go through something that is so great that He will not provide you a lesson or provisions for. Amen. Sometimes the lessons are greater than the provisions. But Paul challenged challenge young Timothy, keep that which is committed to you. <clears throat> I know God's going to keep His end. But Timothy, mm -hmm. keep. What does that word keep mean? It means to prevent from escaping. This morning, are you a keeper of the presence of God? Are you preventing from escaping the things of God from escaping your life? You want divine things in your life. The only way divine things will ever happen is when you are a keeper of the presence of God and you keep the covenant of God. And my sister Sandy, can I get you to come to the piano? So I'll have to change the diapers. This morning, I believe that everyone wants you to gather in the piano because this is my challenge this morning. And this is the challenge I feel like God has given us. Are you a keeper of the presence of God? Is God's presence in your life the greatest thing? Is God's presence in your family's life the greatest thing? Is God's presence in your home the greatest thing? Listen, God wants covenant with you. The covenant that God had with the nation of Israel, even through the Ark of the Covenant, Ark of the Covenant, showed that God was blind to His wrath and can only pour out your sin. You want blessings. You want the provisions of God. You want the presence of God. God's presence will sustain us through the most difficult times. If you want that, it requires you to be a keeper of the presence of God. I want you this morning all around the sanctuary. You don't have to raise hands. But in your heart, would you say, God, I'm going to be a keeper of the covenant. I know you will break your covenant, but I want to be a binding covenant on my end. I will not break the covenant, but I will keep that which is committed to me from you. Because God, I'll change my plans. I'll forfeit my dreams and my goals. Whatever it will be, God, I'll be a taker of the caretaking of your presence. Would you gather in a commitment this morning? Not to me, not to anybody else, but to God. Would you say, God, I'm in a covenant relationship with you. I'll take care of your presence. Would you gather?